Hey YouTube, welcome back to the third part of uh, this tutorial uh, dealing with shapes and techniques and in this part I'm going to demonstrate how to fold sheets of metal into box shape like. When we have smaller parts that we want to bend we can simply use a pair of tweezers if the nose is long enough to cover the whole uh, line that we want to bend you can simply use these tweezers and you just align it and make a bend and then align it again second line doesn't really matter which line you pick but it's always good that you just start from one end and work towards the other end There we go. We have created a small piece of our model. Now when you have slightly larger pieces, then uh, you already noticed that it will be difficult to use a, a, a hand tool. Uh, if you have it long enough, then you can just do the same thing. But if not, then uh, you need to move on to the device. And here, you can see that I already have two bigger backings ready. Um, simply because when you're folding these big pieces in a vise, you always again want to start with the top and work your way to the bottom. So you're going to start by placing your part like this all the way down just the first line is on top and then you make a bend and you move it up and you make another bend and you move it up again but you can see that with a vise the longer the piece is the higher we need backings for so with the same thing just take our piece of wood and we're going to make one bend, open our vise, align it, second bend, open our vise, once more, align it. Now, when you're making a box shape, when you fold it, it's going to go into the wood. So you, just like with the U-shape, you don't want to fold it all the way. You just want to create the initial bend, and then you're going to straighten that out with the fingers. There we go. I can do the Here we have it. We have our larger piece. In the next part, which is the last part of this tutorial, you'll understand how all these pieces come together. But there we go. We fold it, we created a nice box. We just need to solder it here and, uh, and then it will be a nice box. Now, when you have larger pieces um, of steel, with the vise you saw that we need higher and higher backing since we always start from the bottom. So this whole piece here, this whole part, needs to be inside the vise. So any piece larger than this, uh, you would start to require large backings. So um, for this I have my own little contraption. And it's basically just a tool to fold large pieces of uh, sheet metal and it, the design is just a replica of a real world uh, sheet bender and uh, you have the part, you put your steel sheet here just gonna do it with the camera, nothing precise and then you lock it with the screws here and you can basically just 
feed an entire sheet like that. And again, this is the front. So when we start bending, we put it all the way and then we're going to move it outside towards us. We're not going to start by making this bend and then try to push it in because that's not going to work. So very easy. I have the markings here. I place my sheet. Don't have a lot of light here. But it's okay. Just an example. I'm going to tighten it. You want to get it even on both ends. Just check that it doesn't move. Take a ruler. Oh, other way. Like this. And you make a button. And then you release it. Once again, pull your sheet forward. Put it on the second mark. Close it tight. Make it. And our last one. Again, we're going to have the same issue where we cannot fold it all the way to the end. But that is okay. I need to improve these. Maybe put some butterflies here or some sort of a quick release mechanism, but that's okay. Last one. There we go. And we already have all the folds for our box. Just straighten them out nicely. It's just a sample piece, it's nothing that I made straight just to show you how to do large pieces. And you can see that it folded it nicely into a box and once we create a seam here, then it will be a nice box shape. And this one. Okay, so this is how you fold pieces of steel into box shapes and uh, an important thing to remember is that if you need to cut holes or cut parts out of any side of the shape then you want to do that before you actually fold it and not after because then it will be difficult to mount and to support these parts when it's already a box shape. That was it. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you like my videos please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the final part.